Hi guys, welcome to The Mix. It is, as you might have guessed, weekly roundup time or two weekly roundup time or whatever we're doing at the moment. I will say straight away, I'm doing this, it's perhaps ill-advised, on a Friday evening after what's um, been quite possibly uh, one of the most brutal weeks we've had in a while. Um, I mean, it's a good thing, it's a good brutal, we're very, very busy, so again, thank you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, we've just had so many launches, it's, it's not sort of like the height of lockdown, obviously it was insane. Uh, but that was more to do with, I guess, the situation and people ordering more online. Uh, we are uh, on the cusp of some form of lockdown here in the UK at the moment. I think there's going to be some announcements uh, in the week ahead, so it's all a bit bleh. But yes, it's because of launches. So we love launches. It's fantastic. It's what we live for here in the mix. New goodies and the rest, so it's lots more to share with you guys. But when they all come thick and fast, yeah, it does give us a bit of a battering. And so we always feel a bit bad because we don't necessarily get to... Uh, give our all to each and every launch. It'd be great if they were staggered, but sometimes it just doesn't work that way and we're not, we don't really strategize and we don't really plan these things. We just want things as quickly as we can get them in and we just want to make as much noise as possible. So, it, you know, first and fast and stuff is always what we try and do. We're very impatient ourselves and um, yeah, in our experience, you guys are too. So we want to get the new things out as fast as we can. Anyway, yes, it's Friday. Why am I doing this now? Well, partially because I've probably got a weekend of packing boxes up ahead, but because we've got a very big launch on Sunday. So this is uh, something we've had to keep quiet, but we do have very big launch for Sunday evening. Now, this is never uh, a time we've ever targeted for a particular launch, but for this one, um, we're, having to, we're having to do it, oh, it's more fun to do it, uh, in concert with the main man doing it. So I'll come back to this at the end, but sour strips, boom we have the Pink Lemonade Sour Strip. So these were super duper limited edition and we couldn't get any first time around. Max was adamant it was a US only one, but uh, it's now coming back as a permanent flavor after a little bit of debate between the Pink Lemonade and the Cotton Candy. So we have it in the mix. It's all here, raring to go, ready to go, waiting for you. And the launch is on Sunday at 5 p.m. So actually, as you're watching this, it might even be around about then because I, I think probably what I'll do is mention it here. I already have. Um, and then we will put the thing up on Sunday and then it's, it's, it's always a concert. Um, it all happens together and it'll look wonderful and planned and slick and uh, you'll think we know what we're doing. Anyway, the launch is coming. I will come back to that uh, because I'm going to start with some of these other bits first and then the, the candy I will come to. But anyway, that's what's driving this, rather than me trying to do a Saturday evening or whatever I've been doing. Here I am, Friday evening, loads of new stuff to tell you about. And yes, brace yourself, it's going to be a bit of a long one, but I'm going to do my best. Energy keeping me going, God knows, again, I need it. Uh, and it, fortunately, it's another part of the launch for uh, this week. So I think it was actually the last video. I mean, it's, it's constant energy drinks sort of pounding here. I mean, very, very popular in the mix, continues to be. Um... We had the Ghost Energy drinks that have done incredibly well. As predicted, they have sold out. Uh, I say that. I think we've got some maybe tropical mango left in stock, uh, but the Warheads is gone and the Citrus is gone. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll check what's left because we have safety stock, so we might be able to put some back up over the weekend. So I have to check that. And there will be more coming, uh, or at least two of the flavors, I think, coming back in a few weeks' time. So not too long to wait. But anyway, we had the Ghost Energy. 3D Energy we had. Uh, last week, that's the last video, or two weeks ago, that's the last video, we had three new flavours, I think it was the last video anyway, three new flavours, Liberty Pop, uh, Pink, which is cotton candy, and uh, Silver Chrome, which is um, strawberry, strawberry lemonade. Anyway, all delicious, all wonderful, all, um, yeah, long overdue, but they, they've made it big boom. Um, and now we've got yet another one, so we've got the gold can here. So you can look forward to this. I'll do a, I, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of doing everything before I want to start with the snacks as I usually do. But um, yeah, I will be sipping this throughout. So we've got the gold, it's pina colada uh, or um, pineapple coconut, I think is what it actually says on it for the EU, the UK version here. But yeah, pina colada, right? <laughs> Certainly use a pina colada right about now. Uh, so, mm. yes. It's particularly nice, actually. I, I was, it's a bit of a gimmicky flavor, I suppose, but I was a little bit worried like the coconut would be overblown or what, you know, I didn't really think they'd deliver it, but yeah, they actually have. So we'll, we'll come back to that one, but that's it now. I'm going to be sipping that throughout. So snacks, sorry. First of all, I'm going to nearly knock it over. Great, I've regretted that. We have got the glazed sprinkled donuts. Battle snacks. There you go. So uh, that is the big launch. I have. We've just launched it today, actually. I mean, technically, we had some stock on Thursday, but it all went too quickly, and we didn't get um, our two big deliveries until 
today. So we had to kind of wait for the end of the week. But it's good to finish strong, and it's a very Friday, Friday sort of product. So it looks great, tastes even better. So I will show you now. Um, ooh, uh, yes, lots of bars from Kevin and Sean over at, well, they were Battle Oats, now they're Battle Snacks. Uh, so we, we always do a bit of a run up to them. So I've known, I've known the guys for years, and they're, they're a great pair to work with. And um, yeah, Kev hooked me up with these ones. It should have been a little bit earlier, but yeah, we, we've got them in in the end. Um, the flavor here. So glazed sprinkled donuts. I've just launched, as I say, Friday. We've done it. The post's gone up on Instagram. Email's gone out. All the usual uh, shenanigans we do when we launch a product. So a little bit rushed at the end of the week, but it's up there. Um, glazed sprinkled donut. This is something we tried early manufacturing samples of. If memory serves, 18 months ago, two years ago. So occasionally the guys send us some stuff from the bakery. Again, bakery here in the UK. It's easy enough to do that. And this was one of the flavors a little while back. So it's changed a lot since then, but yeah, they're always fantastic. It's bakery makes great stuff, the guy there. So it's, um, you, you know you're in safe hands with any of their bars. The last bar we had was the white chalk toasted marshmallow, which has continued to be very popular. Really out there, very creative. Big marshmallows on it, white chocolate coating, cookie crispies on the inside. It was kind of a, a white chocolate cookies and cream with marshmallows is sort of how it delivered to me. But yeah, very nice bar, very striking, same sort of shiny wrappers on them. Another winner in the range. Um, and this one, been a long time coming, we've been waiting a couple of months for this one here, but um, yeah, various COVID delays and the rest of it, so you, you know the drill for this year. Um, it has now made it, a uh, gloriously shiny purple wrapper. Um, oh, what can I say about this bar? Well, it's the usual deal, it's three grams of sugar, uh, so that's for, for both of them, so there's two bits inside, as you'll see, 20 grams of protein, the usual one again there, and um, well, I guess that's, that's the main highlight you need to know about, the two pieces, low sugar bar, it's around about 200 calories, I think they fall at 223, so it's up a teeny, teeny bit, but yeah, it is low sugar, it is high protein. Um, glazed sprinkled donut. I could go on some big, long, boring tirade about how this is always a disappointing flavor, because truth be told, it is. We've, we've launched loads of donut products in the past, and oh, well, obviously donuts. We've got things like the gym bunnies and stuff. But we've launched loads of products that sort of take a pass at the donut thing. And obviously, it's very hard to deliver. Yes, in protein shakes, it tends to mean um, well, kind of a sweet, extra sweet vanilla, really. I mean, you know, very few proteins do much with it. But with bars, well, we've got Lenny and Larry's. They've got chocolate donut cookie. We've had maple glazed donut. One bar was a big popular one we've had for years. Um, it's hard to get now, but yeah, we've had that. I mean, Quest do a sprinkled donut one. Um, oh, I, mm, oh, all escaping my mind at the moment. But you guys will all have seen a lot of donut products over the years, whether it's in yeah cookies, bars, bites, snacks, whatever. Like everyone has a pass at this because donuts are one of those ultimate kind of cheat physique destroyer, cheat food you know, treat food, treat, treat, cheat, treat, cheaty treats, right? You know what I mean? It, it's one of those things that everyone loves. I, I assume it's a near universal love for these things. They look great. They sound great. I mean, they're all across, you know, culture and things. And uh, The Simpsons made donuts very famous and all the rest of it. But it's, it's something you can't often eat if you're on anything like a calorie-restricted diet. Kind of a healthy donut sort of defeats the point. But it's, um, it's something that, that can be done. And obviously in bars, very difficult because we're not dealing with a classic sort of O-ring soft baked thing. This is a protein bar with a, with a kind of fudge. Yes, it's soft, but it's kind of fudgy nougat core and there's a chocolate coating. Ah, I'm going to show you the thing. I'm going to show you the thing. All gets very boring with me talking about the uh, psychology or whatever of these things. Kind of meta details of the flavors that are going up. Very, very soft. These are bakery fresh. Literally, they were baked... Uh, beginning of this week, five days ago, something like that. Um, so there you go. Glaze, let's get a new one. Glaze sprinkled donuts. So as I said, there's two bites in there if you're not familiar with them. I'm sure most of you, anyone who's been to the mix, has seen these by now, tried them before. Uh, they're getting out there quite far and wide, to be honest. You get them in some super supermarkets and stuff now. Uh, so the guys have done well with them. So there you go. Obviously, you can see it is soft. It's um, not soft. It's golden. So it's a kind of um, that, for, that golden chocolate. I mean, you can see me cracking away. It actually... <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty, it's amazingly soft actually. So these, these bars are great for that, very soft bars. We've always loved them for that reason. Um, and you can see sprinkles all across the top there. Tell you what, let's just go for the full bite thing now and I'll continue wittering on afterwards. E Gorgeous, there you go. Sprinkle things. Let's go for the first person perspective. Ooh, look at that. Fruity fondant showing up first there. 
Let's just, oh, go on, focus. We pull that apart. What have we got? That is incredibly soft. So it has a sort of buttery flavor, and it kind of goes with, I guess, the buttery texture. I mean, you can see that breaking, cracking there. Probably not doing your service at this point. Wow. Uh, yeah, I completely ruined that. So there you go. That's the ugliest cross section of a product you'll ever see. <laughs> I should have just bitten it. Mm. So let's stack it like that. Look, we got a donut sandwich here. Mm. So you've got that kind of golden caramel chocolate coating the thing. It's got crunchy sprinkles in it. It's got a fruity fondant layer as well. So that's giving you the slight fruit essence you get with maybe a pink classic Simpson style ring donut that you can see depicted right there. Uh, and an incredibly, incredibly soft um, proteiny nougat core. So there you go. Uh, mm. So mm -mm -mm. it's amazing. <laughs> Long story short, it's genuinely amazing. I was just going to shove that in my mouth. I really mustn't. Um, it is uh, the, the 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 first notes you get, I suppose. Yes, caramel. It, it is sweet. It's one of the sweet bars. Um, it's buttery. The texture as well. Even the mouthfeel of that does conjure that sort of, it does have a sort of butteriness, it does have a sort of creaminess. A little bit odd. It's an unusual bar, obviously not everyone has a go at the donut flavour, it is really out there and some may think too sweet, too wacky, whatever. But these guys have done it and they've done it not just a good service, but they've done it perhaps the best service of any manufacturer I've ever uh, had in the sort of functional snack protein game doing the, the homage to donut sort of flavour. And that is quite a bold statement, uh, because we've had loads of these things, and they're all nice, but to say some of these have actually made you think of a donut is, uh, it's reaching, to be honest. I mean, many of them are a far cry from an actual donut, and you tend to get either chocolate or you get a sweet flavour or whatever. The fact is, this this is, is quite amazing trying it. The, the first thing it conjured to me when I bit into it was, well, okay, I realised how soft it was, but it tastes like, you actually taste the pastry. And it, it's it's quite weird. Um, it, it reminds me of things. I don't eat many donuts, but I do find myself, because my sister's a fan, and she's always buying them, I do find myself eating Marks & Spencer's Yum Yum. So if you're watching this from the United States or elsewhere in the world, uh, you probably aren't familiar with Marks & Spencer's. Um, but Marks & Spencer's is sort of British, uh, you know, kind of classic institution. Yeah, yeah, they do sort of socks and underpants and things, but they have um, quite famous sort of food halls. And they do very nice... Uh, desserty bits. They have a bakery uh, built into them. They do ready. They do. They do loads and loads of stuff. But it's known for being a sort of cut above, and it's kind of the place you go for occasions when you want kind of the nice stuff. And anyway, they do yum yum. So they're not exclusive doing yum yums. Every bakery will do some form of glazed snack. So it's just yum yums are what I think of. I've had a lot of yum yums in my time. But it's a very very soft donut like pastry. Um, uh, but they, they have them in rectangular format rather than rings. That's the only difference. But it, 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 because of that, it, it's basically like the glazed donut. It's, it, it's what most of you will get. I just think yum yums because of what I have. But it's, it's the, the baked pastry, you know, it's kind of, yeah, it tastes naughty for you and fried or whatever they do to it to make a donut. Uh, but it has a sort of cracking um, icing going over the whole thing. And it's, it, they've pulled that off. So not only does it have the sweetness for that, not only... Does it have, I guess, the flavouring they've done for that? It has a sort of icing -y flavouring. But because of the sprinkles, and maybe because of Protein Krispies or something, I'm not entirely sure how they've done it, but when you bite into it, yes, you know it's really soft underneath, but it has it has an almost crunch to it. And I'm not sure, if it, maybe it's just the sprinkles delivering that, maybe the Protein Krispies in there, maybe they've done a layer of something that cracks just like icing. No idea, but that's what it tastes like. So you, you actually get the texture of the glazed donut, you get the flavour of the glazed, glazed donut, or yum yum or whatever and there's a sort of fruitiness as well the fruit is is quite laid back in there you you really do get the caramel butteriness more than you get fruit um but yeah, either way it, it's it's wonderful it's sweet it's out there but it actually it's the first product like this has actually made me think of what it says it is on the tin as it were what it says on the packet so yeah mileage may vary i look forward to the reviews on this i really really do perhaps more keenly than any of the others i've seen for these because the battle snacks bars are always great battle bites are always great but this one creative flavor and it genuinely gives me that kind of pastry impression in something that's a completely different format. So, pretty miraculous. I was so impressed when I tried it. I'm sure, I hope, it would do really, it will do really well. 
So I'll say right now, I've, I've given you the numbers on it and everything, but this is in the mix at the moment. It's in our Battle Bites Bite Me bundle alongside the White Chalk Toasted Marshmallow, the Caramel Pretzel that's also another winner. Um, oh, what else we got? Birthday cake, red velvet cake, cookies and cream. There's a coconut one. There's the classic caramel, the chocolate caramel one. Um, Mississippi Mud Pie. Yeah, loads. And, and not only that, they ain't finished. So in... A couple of weeks time, I'm going to say by the end of the month, because there's always usual delays and things, there's another bar coming. They have teased this online. In fact, I shoved it in the last video. Uh, so it's, it's Winter Wonderland Bar. So it's their Christmas limited edition special one. And um, yeah, I haven't had the pleasure of trying it yet, but it will be coming soon. Perhaps even in the next weekly roundup, you'll have me raving about that one for 15 minutes or whatever I've been doing here. But uh, that one's coming. Uh, they did candy canes that have done mint the last couple of years. It's a new one for them. They want to push the boat out. And I think there was an Irish Irish cream vibe to it. Not entirely sure. But we'll see. I look forward to trying it. As I say, these guys, they always churn out fantastic bar snacks products. So, yeah, it's always something to look out for. Not There's not a bad battle bite. Um, so there you go. In the mix right now. And um, we've got loads of it. So um, no need to panic by. You do not need to panic. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. They've, they've done a donut kill my vibe, terrible pun type thing. There's so many donut puns. We've done with gym buddies for years, but great fun anyway. Um, in the mix now. So next one, I'm going to go with snacks again. This is a very quick one, I promise. We've got Nano... I don't know how to say the character. is some Scandinavian thing, I think. But A Nano, Nano A. Um, they're protein pancakes. Uh, so these are actual pastries. So instead of an homage to pastry, these are actually pastry-like and baked. I'll open one to show you. Basically, nano protein, they're filled pancakes, so it's, it's got the sort of pastry thing, um, all natural ingredients, non-GMO, that sort of jazz. And inside, it's got a high protein, creamy sort of filling, or a caramel, or a jam. It varies from flavor to flavor. Again, we've done the range in the mix for a couple of years now. Been quite incredibly popular, actually. It's one of those ones that could have gone either way. It could have been, you know, a flash in the pan. We have a few good weeks where the sales come in and then they peter out. We've had this with loads of other similar wacky products in the past, like Pop-Tarts and things like Protein Pop-Tarts and stuff. But with these ones, actually, they've stuck around and we do sell quite silly numbers of them. Loads go internationally and things as well. Um, anyway, loads of flavours. Uh, we've just got um, creamy double chocs. So and that's what you're looking at here. That's what I'm waving around, manhandling. So... Um, I'm not going to pretend this is a mad exciting one. It's definitely no glazed sprinkled donut. They've basically taken the um, outer from their cookies and cream, which was the previous new flavor we had in, again, being very popular, and they've taken the filling from their classic chocolate, which is one of the launch flavors. So it's a double chocolate experience, and yes, it's creamy and soft and indulgent and all the rest of it. So it's, yeah, it's just another great one in the range there. And if you're a chocolate lover, I guess this is the de facto choice, uh, because it's, it's double the chocolate of the regular chocolate. <laughs> Go figure. So, mm, all smells pretty good. These are supposed to be protein pancakes. They're not pancakes in the sort of stacking sense. They are pancakes in the um, scotch pancake sort of sense. So they're very mini pancakes, but they are quite thick, quite satisfying, quite spongy. Um, so that, yeah, not so much crepe. They are more scotch pancakes. They have a flavor. The pastry has a flavor of its own, but the, the magic is the filling. So you can you can chomp around it and then bite in. You can see the, the A logo emblazoned on it there, baked in. Um, and... Ah, oh, come on, let's do this thing. I'll go around. Let's make another horrible, well, a, a lovely horrible mess. So, there you go. It's almost like a smiling frog or something. I've had fun with this in the past. E come on. There you go. So, anyway, you can see it's, it's a chocolate pastry. And inside, it looks like pure brownie batter. <laughs> or charcoal. Um, it's, it's a lot of chocolate. There is an awful lot of chocolate going on here. I mean, the probably camera doesn't even pick up too much of this because of the contrast, but yeah, they, basically they, you can see there's a, there's a, there's a chocolatey gooey filling inside this little pocket within. Mm. Okay. You eating way too much of it again. Yeah, it's very nice. I mean, it tastes like a sort of classic, um, chocolate pudding, chocolate cake. I mean, there's quite a rich cacao-ness to it, but it's, it's fairly middle of the road chocolate cake flavor. And then it's kept moist, uh, by the chocolate filling on the inside. Mm. It is dinner time. You've got to give me a break. <laughs> long day. Long week. Long fortnight. Um, yeah. They are lovely on their own. It's rare you get a grab-and-go um, gym bag friendly sort of pancake thing. And um, uh, what else can I say? 
Uh, they're great warmed up as well, so you can stick them in the oven. I tried toasting them, they do burn pretty quick, so I would look out for that. But you can zap them for a few seconds in the microwave, all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, with any of these baked bready style products, that's always quite nice to do. Same with the Jim Buddies donuts, it's, it's just, it makes it a lot softer. And certainly with chocolate ones, the flavour seems to come out more. So, yeah, yeah you can do what you want with it, to be honest. It, it, it's, it's just a, um, it's a lovely thing. Uh, Number-wise... And see here, no added sugar, 14 grams of protein, epic taste, so it's a bold claim. Um, whole grain, the rest, fresh baked, yada, yada, yada. 140 calories, a pancake, 2.6 fat, 14 grams of carbs, sugars just 2.8, protein 14 grams. So, yeah, ain't half bad, basically. So we've got the double chocolate and... Um, the best sellers have always been the caramel and the chocolate. They, they tend to, to lead the pack. The cookies and cream's done well. Vanilla intermittently does well. Uh, there's blueberry and there's peach, which are actually lovely, very sort of classic afternoon tea sort of flavor. So I personally, I quite like those ones. Uh, and to be honest, for the I'm used to having chocolate snacks, bars, all the rest of it. When I go for these protein pancakes, I actually like the, the more fruity filling on them because it, it's more unusual for me. But yeah, they're all really nice and different people have different flavors and stuff. So there's like six, seven flavors in the mix at the moment. We have a nano flipping great pancake bundle. Um, first delivery of these, the, the importers actually didn't get as many as they'd hoped. So uh, we, we didn't get quite the batch we wanted, but we've still got quite a few. So yeah, if you love these pancakes, if you tried them before, it's, it's you know, it's going to impress again. They're very, very nice things and they make a little break from so protein cookies and protein bars and the rest of it. So yeah, they're in the mix now. I'm going to move that because I want to get to the sort of candy main event. We've had bars, we've had kind of cakes, and now, yes, we're gonna have candy. It's the uh, it's the full house in the mix. I've actually got some chocolate for you as well, so I'll show you that at the end if I get time. So let's just get the nano stuff out of the way, but they're in the moment anyway, they're worth a mention. Okay, we'll do the, no, we won't. We'll do, <sighs> yeah, we'll do the candy. We'll do the candy and then we'll come to the drinks. Let's get the snacks done. Mm. Oh, it's always tempting to sing the Pina Colada song um, when drinking anything like that, but I'm going to try not to be quite so um, hackneyed and do such an overdone sort of thing. But um, yes, I'm looking forward to telling you about that. I, I, I do love Pina Colada. Uh, okay, snack wise, we're doing it. So, actual candy. Here we go. Um, Let's just grab a bag. I've actually got one open, I'll do already. Right, we have pink lemonade. So Max was right to make quite a fuss about this. And to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed we couldn't get it in the first place. I know most of you guys here, if you've been watching from the UK and Europe, were disappointed. Um, but th that's basically because it was not exclusive for his site, couldn't really share it. But in terms of me in, particularly being, uh, in particular being a little bit disappointed, it's because this is pink. And the store is pink. The pink is what we do. So that's, that's very, very pick and mix. There couldn't be, well, I say that, I say there couldn't be a more pick and mix appropriate flavor of sour strips. He actually then went on to do another limited edition, cotton candy. So that's, you know, the, the, the kind of, the, the color scheme, the striped strips inside were pink and blue. So again, they're, they're our corporate colors. So yeah, he's launched two limited edition flavors cruelly and not shared them with us over here. Um, but I think the plan is sooner or later to bring them to the range. So sure enough, Pink Lemonade is here and Cotton Candy, uh, jury's still out on that one. Hopefully we'll get some, who knows? Max is, uh, is he's on a roll with these things. The momentum around this candy is crazy. He's grown it so far in, in such a relatively short space of time. And the, the number of bags he's moved is insane. And I keep looking at the Instagram now when I speak to him, uh, the, the, like the grocery stores over in the States listing the candy as well and the, the sort of orders he's seeing and the volumes he's going to be doing even beyond his own mad sourstrips.com volumes out there yeah it's, it's crazy so yeah good luck to the guy it's fantastic I mean to, to build an empire on candy yeah it's something I've sort of strived to do here but uh, he's going to eclipse me with it and it, it's so cool to see it's such a wonderful striking fun brand and so many of you guys have embraced it and everything so yeah anyway well played Max but um, yeah pink lemonade just brings us back to where we are now Yes, I don't know when I'm going to launch this, but 5 p.m., woo, it's launched, it's available now. 
Fill your boots, guys. Um, so yeah, by the time you see this, these should be available on site. I mean, we have quite a few bags. Don't know how mental it's gonna go. Uh, so, I mean, hopefully they will still be available on site. It's one of those ones that could just sell out like that. You, there's so many people so um, devoted to these things and devoted to Max, fans of Max, that, um, yeah, it's, it's you never know. So we, we've got as much as we can get in, and he obviously needs them for his own site for the relaunch. So, yeah, we did our best. Anyway, Pink Lemonade, there you go. How's this taste like? Well, it tastes like pink lemonade. It's um, it's not a flavor of candy I'm particularly familiar with. It's not one we certainly over here in the UK have quite obviously in things. It's not like Haribo, pink lemonade sweets, buy me now. It's um, a flavor I'm more familiar with in pre-workouts, to be honest. So you do get um, raspberry lemonade, pink lemonade, I guess. You get those flavors in, in quite a few of them. Speaking of pre-workouts, actually, Ghost are doing Legend, the collab, the V3 collab, with Max, and yes, I had to do, <laughs> I couldn't possibly do a video without working Ghost in somehow. Um, they are launching that imminently, so probably around Halloween time, early November, and this is Max's latest limited edition collab flavor, is pink lemonade, it's sour pink lemonade, in fact, so I've turned up the sour um, just as the candy, and um, uh, so they will have more, you know, they, they've gone for this exact flavor in doing the latest Max product. So who knows? We may get some. We got some of his collab flavors last year, the strawberry daiquiri and stuff. So we might get them again. I've started begging the guys over at Ghost. We'll see. We'll see. Um, anyway, pink lemonade sour strips in here for now, yet they taste like pink lemonade. Um, for those of you not familiar with sour strips, they are, as the name implies, quite sour. And they are candy in the form of strips. Um, so go figure. There you go. It's 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 a strip of candy. You can see there's gorgeous real sugar crystals, actual sugar crystals. So these aren't exactly a a low sugar, uh, you know, guilt free sort of offering. This is unashamedly candy. It is unashamedly sour candy. And um, yeah, you proudly emblazons. Actually, these are naturally flavored. Who knew? Most of them say artificially flavored. And the mango and this one. He started using some natural flavors, so he's not totally adverse to it, but no, it's just actual candy. There's no particular health benefit to speak of here, but great around the workout, great for fuel there, but they just make you feel good. They just make you go, because it's nice and sour. Um, so yeah, 117 calories about blah, 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 but yeah, who cares? It's just candy and it looks sick. Um, so, mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> Yes. Mm. What am I getting? I'm getting sourness. I'm getting um, lemonade. <laughs> For the pink part, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where that is. Maybe that's just the colouring coming in. It is, <coughs> God, <laughs> it's so sour. It is uh, lemon. Yeah. So you do get a very sour sort of lemon experience, and the fact that it's pink. Ultimately, pick and mix friendly, very, very cool. Very glad we finally got them in. Um, so, uh, what has he got in the back here? When life gives you lemons, make sour candy. So, two right. Um, that goes alongside, what has he got here? Um, you know all the usual suspects. We've got rainbow, your friend there. We've got blue raspberry, classic. We've got strawberry, of course. There's a mango, there's a sour green apple, which is probably Probably my favorite. I mean, this one's right up there, but I, I do love the classic apple in the candy. He's got more flavors coming. He's got the cotton candy. I haven't even had the privilege of trying. So we've had a full restock across the entire range of them. They're available in our Sour to the Max bundle. Max with two X's, of course. Uh, they're available in our um, Maximum Effort. Again, two X's in Max there. Um, uh, on sites, that's a three bag bundle and a six bag bundle, I think. So pick and mix between them, whatever you want, or you can just buy the singles, all the usual ones. If you're looking for the easiest, cheapest way to try this, certainly for UK customers, if you order just three bags, so if you get this out of the max bundle, it should go through as like a large letter. So it's the cheapest shipping. So if you just want to try the candy, if you get the three pack, it ends up being more cost effective. Otherwise, go six, go 12, fill your boots. We've had some massive orders for these things. So Max will be crossed. This is actually the slightly old design of his stand there. I didn't have the foresight to actually ask for a pink lemonade uh, stand. I will do that next time. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is what we got for now. And I, I had to actually show this 
properly on the video and to, to mark the launch, just finally uh, getting it in there. So we're doing a countdown on Instagram. You'll have seen the countdown on Instagram. We've been doing that with him. Uh, if you don't follow us on Instagram, uh, you should follow us on Instagram, so <laughs> please do. Um, but we've been doing the countdown to sort of matches over in the States, and it's just it's just great fun. I mean, obviously, this is themed after a sweet shop. It's a protein sweet shop, and um, it's nice occasionally to do actual candy. And I know the company called Actual Candy, so... Uh, yeah, it's maybe fate that it ended up being doing this and everything. It was obviously great with the, the ghost collab with him as well. So anyway, yeah, that's in the mix now. Thank you, Max, for sharing. Thank you for sparing what you could. And um, yeah, fill your boots, guys. You'll enjoy these. It's like crack. It's fantastic stuff. So, um, okay, candy done. Next one, caffeine. So candy's good. Caffeine is very good. Caffeine is very useful right now. So I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm probably a bit delirious, but Caffeine, okay, we've got 3D energy. It, it all kind of meshes together because the same as Max with Ghost, uh, Max is also a good buddy of Christian Guzman's. It's obviously um, his brand here, 3D energy, and he also does stuff with Ghost. Anyway, yeah, so it's, it's, it's all um, like an influencer special, I suppose, but they just make damn good products, so you can't really knock it, and they look great too. So yeah, gold is in the mix now. Not a huge amount to show with 3D cans, but they just kind of look effortlessly cool. Very, very simple, very, very stark. But yeah, we, we had the, the chrome, we had the pink, we had the Liberty Pop, which is the striped one. Uh, now we've got the, the gold one. So between this and the silver, it sort of reminds me of those tokens at the end of the Crystal Maze, but it's it, uh, incredibly eye-catching. Um, very, very sleek and sexy and the rest of it, and it kind of goes with the crisp, clean, cool drink that's inside. It's very drinkable, it's pineapple coconut, how does it taste? How coconutty is it? Um, if you don't like coconut, no, you ain't gonna like it. But the main flavor, the first hit you get is the fruit. The first hit you get is the pineapple. So um, yeah, if you think lilt, you're not far wrong. It's got a kind of slightly exotic sort of note and that's helped with the coconut coming in as well. The reason the pineapple seems, I guess, dominant in the mix is because coconut tends to rely, I think, on texture. So when you have coconut products, it's maybe coconut oil or it's coconut milk or it's it's just there's a sort of creaminess that goes with it and that's obviously not here the drink is very very crisp very very clean it's kind of sharp with the fruitiness as well it's not fizzy but there's a sort of effervescence going on obviously quite mildly fizzy across all the 3d cans uh, so the, the sort of pineapple is is the is the one that's more at home with the the general formulation of the thing but the coconut is definitely there it, it's there in the aftertaste and it's there softening the pineapple and it's it's a very well balanced combination. I mean, it, it has a big, heavy, powerful, coconutty sort of um, pina colada drink is not necessarily something you'd want to have when you're doing a workout. Or what, you know, it'd be, it'd be too much to just casually drink. But this one, again, perfectly balanced and all too quaffable, all too enjoyable. And yeah, thanks to that low effervescence, quite easy to have on the go. What's the hit in this? Well, it's about 200 milligrams of caffeine. Um, and um, bear in mind the EU, UK ones are not coloured. You might see some of these over in the States. Uh, that's actually got a kind of pineapple-y uh, um, colour to it. I mean, it, it's actually that sort of orangey, yellowy sort of colour color poured out. Uh, this, I'm not going to pour out now, but it's clear. Same with the EU, UK ones, they're all like that. And um, yeah, it's in the mix right now. I, I mean, there's only so much I can say about an energy drink, and I've already gone on for half an hour or so. So, uh, gold in the mix now. This brings it to 10, a fairly impressive 10 flavours for Christian Guzman's 3D Energy. And um, yeah, there really is something for everyone at this point. I don't think they're quite done. I don't know what's, I don't know what's next, uh, but rest assured we'll get it as soon as we can. I think this is done for now. This might be it for the rest of the year. Um, but yeah, plenty to go on. You can do, they used to come in trays of 12. Sadly, here in the UK, they're in trays, uh, monster trays of 24. Bit of a bummer to <laughs> try and pack those, especially when you're doing 20, 30, 40 cases a day. Um, so that's not helped us over the last little while. But you can pick a mix across 12, you can pick a mix just three. Well, you know how our site works. We'll let you buy it any which way you want, single cans all the way through to four cases at a time or whatever you want. Somehow, some way, we will pack it and get it out to you. Uh, and obviously, the more you buy, the cheaper it tends to get as well. So look out for the kind of buy a box and pick and mix and whatever deals across the site. All a bit confusing, but... Yeah, the order will make it in in the end and we'll get it to you, don't you worry. Um, so there you go, Gold 3D in the mix right now. So Christian's, uh, Max's buddy there, sorted. Okay, um, finally one, uh, finally ones, finally ones. Um, final one at the end, a little bit of a supplement hit because we've been a bit a light on the supplement introductions and stuff of late. Um, we're waiting for some ghost bits, that's for sure. So uh, I've just heard from them um, incidentally that 
the uh, marshmallow cereal milk that we never got in on, uh, we just missed out on last time when it launched in, well, launched globally, um, is due at the end of the month. So we should have stock for the end of October, about halloween -y time or beginning of November. So we will have that, don't worry. Um, and multi-bits will get in due course. I also, again, just to do my little stint, stint on, uh, on Ghost, um, they are doing uh, BCAAs finally coming back. So we should have at least three flavors here in the UK, including like Blueberry SAE from the Glow product that was very popular there. Uh, so this is, yeah, BCAA is coming back. I think it's gonna be a little bit cheaper. Uh, it's got a little bit more in it. It's an extra gram of BCAAs. It's gonna be vegan friendly. Um, so uh, yeah, it'd be pretty cool. The, uh, the thing is we had the BCAA and we had the Amino product. The Amino product kind of did BCAAs, EAAs, and a bunch of other stuff. And the BCAA looked a little bit sad in comparison. Uh, and also reasonably closely priced in things. So basically when they overhauled the Amino and it became the V2 and it became vegan friendly, it sort of left BCAA in the dust, which is a shame because they always tasted great. With less going on in there, it's, it's, they almost had a clearer run at the flavor and they had some different flavors like the strawberry kiwi. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, they've kind of disappeared in the mix for now. So sorry about that, but that's because they've been working through stock to do the new version. So they are coming and um, they will be, I think, uh, in a month's time, I don't know, it's, it's a launch, another launch coming up before the end of the year for Ghost, along with Max's thing, and they've got some other collabs, I think, coming, and then they're already talking about stuff for the new year, as I say, we're going to have Ghost Energy back as well, those are cool stuff, so there's enough Ghost for now, but yeah, still more stuff coming, don't worry, and the marshmallow cereal milk should be great fun. They've also got some Christmas proteins as well and a hot chocolate coming. So I'll get what I can in here, but um, yeah, keep an eye out on the socials. Check out their episodes on YouTube. Far more exciting than mine. Um, far cooler than mine, what I'm doing here. Um, so yeah, it's also always worth to see it and stuff because they've got so much going on. It's lovely to see behind the scenes how much you know, work goes in, how much they care and how it all comes together. And yeah, whatever. Good watch. I enjoy it. Um, okay. <sighs> yeah, supplements. Sorry, I forgot what I was doing. Yummy Sports on the end, these are not US guys, these are Canadian guys. Um, we have three flavors from them. It's their seasonal sort of range, really. It's, it's a bit odd how they've hit because one is appropriately seasonal, the pumpkin spice. Yes, pumpkin season is here. Pumpkin things are starting to hit. Um, and um, pumpkin spice, fine, makes sense, lovely. Uh, and this is always great, basic or otherwise, this time of year. They've also done PB&J. And I'm not really sure what season you'd put that in, but again, it's in one of the small bags. It's this thing here, boom. Um, so it's, uh, I don't know. I can't say I've ever had a peanut butter and jelly protein shake before. That's a first on me. And I'm not really sure if that's a spring or an autumn or whatever one. It's, maybe it's just special for the sake of it. And the banana split. Now, I think this one was formulated a while back and stuff, but it's, it's only just come out now. Uh, banana split, I think if anything you'd say summer. Um, it's it's very desserty, it's very nice, it's a sort of vanilla base with kind of a hit of banana. It's it's more understated than you'd think. I mean all the yummy sports proteins are very sweet, unashamedly sweet, and they, they sort of say it's on the back there as well. Um, and uh, yeah, again, I, I haven't done the intro, just lazily assuming you guys all know it. Yummy sports, yes, say can yeah, it's a Canadian company. They do BCAAs, they do a pre-workout honey badger one, uh, they do a beach ready, which is a lovely sort of um, stim-free uh, kind of fat metabolizing thing. It's just a nice drink, actually. Um, but yeah, the protein's where it's at, and they do isolate protein, so it's, it's like WPC90 or whatever. It's, it's quite pure stuff. Mixes very quickly, very, very low calories, 27 grams of protein a scoop, all that good stuff. So it's, it's, it's really premium, but it obviously looks completely wacky. And their flavors, they've got a good range of flavors from peanut butter cups through to yummy hoops, peppermint bark, and hazelnut crunch, and, and yeah, loads of nuts ones. But it's great stuff inside, and uh, yeah, it's actually proved really popular. We, we've had great fun with it probably a couple of years now. And they keep doing seasonal ones. So we've had like a seasonal gingerbread, seasonal cinnamon. We had a Swiss chocolate one round about Valentine's Day. But now we've got these three wacky ones arriving all at once. Pumpkin, you'll get. Banana split. Eh, banana doesn't get enough love in proteins, to be honest. So that's quite a nice one. And it's not a chocolate banana. It is a vanilla base. So it's, it's quite nicely done, like a creamy banana. And then, yeah, PB&J. Tough to describe. Um, there's a sort of the, the smokiness of peanut going on in there as well, and it's got a fruity zing. It's probably not for everyone, but I think this is why they've released it, limited edition, special edition, in the small bags, and it's at like eighteen ninety nine. so it's for a friendlier price point as well. For that, you get... Uh, how many scoops in there? 70 or 27 grams? I have absolutely no idea. 15 servings in here, maybe? 
I thought it used to actually say that. I should do the calculation. I think, yeah, it's basically half the size of the others. It's about 15 servings. So, yeah, nice one to try. And certainly pumpkin, this has been the most popular. Out of the gate, we did the Instagram post on Thursday. So it's, it's had the launch here. Popular. I think we will probably sell through over the weekend. Maybe even by the time you see this, the pumpkin will have gone. But we have more coming. So don't worry. <laughs> we'll keep this going as long as we can. Uh, so they're in the mix now. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the supplement thing covered. Um, that's a, that's about it. What have I done? That is, that's only 40 minutes. So I was really afraid this would go on. I actually have a load of other stuff to tell you about. Um, and the danger is when I'm this kind of fatigued and out of it and frazzled and uh, like my mad professor hair and the rest of it on a Friday, I would just go on and on and on. Um, but I, I didn't want to let myself do that. So I was, I was going to do a quick fly past, not to make this one brutal. Plus I've got to edit it and everything. And it, yeah. You don't want to know. My life's so hard. <laughs> um, but the a couple of flyby ones we're going to do because we've had some we've had some restocks. Um, tell you what, I'll do this in order. I'll do uh, honourable mention little bits, and I might come back to these in a later roundup. But basically, um, we've got candy in the mix. So Halloween is coming up. Everything seems a bit Halloween with with you know talk of Brexit and talk of coronavirus still and all sorts of stuff going on around the world. But yeah, it is Halloween coming up at the end of the month. It's it's traditionally something we have some fun with here in the mix. It's obviously a very trick or treat candy time of year as well. And I've always kind of liked the darker side of life, the darker side of nonsense. So personally, yeah, I always like making a fuss about Halloween. Uh, it's gonna be gone before we know it. And we used to get loads more candy in this year. Uh, we just got some of the big hitters. We've basically gone Reese's can't miss with that so we got franken cups there you go so it's reese's cups there it's like a king size bag obviously partially green frankensteiny um we've got filled pumpkins again king size ones we got white we've got uh ones with pieces in with reese's pieces in as well and we've got the um the classic milk chocolate ones too uh they're in the mix right now we had some pumpkin spice flips that came in you know the kind of covered pretzels the um demits ones but uh they sold out already uh, the importer didn't bring enough in and um, yeah, he's apologised, we can't get any more. But yeah, for those of you who did grab them, hope you enjoyed them. I think we've got one more bag left, but it's part of the prize for our kind of mix of the month photo competition. So again, I haven't mentioned that in a while. It goes out in our emails and we put flyers in orders, but we love seeing your mixes when they turn up. We love seeing you have some fun with them, sharing them. So uh, on your Instagram account, not just your story, you have to actually post it on the account because we, we, we so it stays there, you know? Um, if you uh, take a picture of your order and yeah, go mad, have some fun with it, don't ever think it, just just play with it um, and take a photograph and tag um, uh, pick and mix of the month. It might be protein pick and mix of the month. There's a page on the site that explains it. Uh, we will, um, yeah, you basically get entered into a uh, monthly competition for kind of best mix that month, right? So we go through and we choose someone, you know, whatever image, whatever image stands out to us, they get the big main prize. And we have, we've had so many great entries. If you, if you follow the hashtag, you can do it from the page on the site. You can see how many great things we've had. Uh, that we often do two or three kind of quite generous coupon Cody ones as well. Just to say thank you for sharing. Obviously, thank you for being a mixer and the rest of it. So uh, where, where was I going with that? Yes, so yeah, the flips, a part of that is a prize, and also the prize this month, again, Halloween-y themed. Um, we've got some of that candy in there too, but we probably won't list any other trick or treaty style candy bits, but they're in the mix now, and they've, they've proved quite popular, and yeah, all good. Um, we've also got our stickers coming, don't worry, we've got little Halloween stickers, so we'll probably, back end of next week, we'll run that up until the end of the month. Okay, um, other honourable mentions, we've got Pro Brands, we've had a big restock, so we've got all their energy drinks back, and we've got new ones, so these guys over in Sweden, um, we've now got Moustache Campen. <laughs> very, very difficult to pronounce, um, but that's BCA drinks, basically, uh, caffeine drinks, 100 milligrams of caffeine there, uh, but it's passion is the actual flavour. Obviously, Noco have a passion flavour, and it's not dissimilar, to be fair, to sort of mixed fruity one, but yeah, quite pleasant, and a, pro a portion of profits go towards, um, I think it is prostate cancer or something. Um, so it's, it's whatever, it's, it's uh, Together Against Camp. So this is not something we do, but it's, 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 I think there's actually a campaign they do out there in Scandinavia, Sweden, wherever. Um, moustache Campen. So either way, pretty wacky. We love the moustaches all over it. We had to get in on that. The one we were more excited about probably was the Winter Blast. Looks great. This is uh, a sort of seasonal one. It is strawberry is the main flavour that comes through. It's, it's a, again, a little bit like the Noco sort of Miami flavour. It's like strawberry. Um, but yeah, very tasty, very refreshing. Just 100 milligrams of caffeine, but it's a nice little boost. 
Uh, this is one of my faves, so um, and we've been adding a few of these to orders as well because people don't really know the brand, but they do make some nice stuff and um, some nice bits and pieces, and you get BCAAs and the rest of it. Uh, they're in the mix now. Um, more exciting from them, perhaps we've got some bars and snacks. We've got another one coming, so I'll probably cover these in more detail. But we've got like, um, what do they say? Dream like a program. It all says mad stuff on it. But we've got uh, a little, what am I talking about here? No added sugar bars, sweetness, stevia, etc., etc. 45 grams. So a little bit smaller ones. We have got um, like a big bite peanut, um, big bite peanut bar. We've got almond brownie and vanilla on there. So that's peanut and toffee. Sorry. We've got cookies and cream uh, coming. Uh, so yeah, I'll cover it then. But little crunchy bars. Um, a little bit like the Chiefs, a little bit like the USN, a little bit like the USN Trust Crunch. But yeah, very, very nice. Slightly unusual flavors with that almond thing in there. So I think you'll, you'll get a kick out of them. A good price on them too. More exciting from them, less of a protein option, but it's, a, it's an amazing low sugar option. It's incredibly decadent, delicious, and enjoyable. Um, these tiny, tiny little mini bites, they so named mini bites, that's correct, creamy chocolate hazelnut bars. So these are just like a sort of Rocher bar, like a Kinder Bueno sort of thing. So it, yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's a chocolate wafer bar. I'm just open this before even thinking about it, to be honest, but th these are so nice. These are so, everyone will love these. So there you go. It's just, it's got, I don't know, four little knobs there full of, <laughs> full of hazelnut kind of um, Nutellery stuff. You can see the wafer on the underside. Snip behind the camera one last time. These, these are epic. Very good price on them too. Lovely little snacks. So yeah, you can just see wafer on the inside, but mm. Mm. Oh. tricky. But you can see that there, like a sort of I don't know, like a, a blonde um, a hazelnut nougat center. It's so nice. It's so Moorish. It's so creamy. It's so delicious. So naughty tasting, and yet so low in sugar. Um, really nice. I mean. Uh, no added sugar, free from palm oil, 16% hazelnut. It, it's not a bar with masses of kind of, I don't know, protein pick and mixy, proteiny sort of healthy sort of creds, but it is mad low sugar and it does just taste amazing. We, we tried some of those, thinky little things, great price on them. And um, I, I think anyone who tries these will love them. We'll try and get some more out in mystery mixes and things like that as well. But they're, they're delicious little things and they might help bring you into sort of the, the pro brands range of products. They've got some cool stuff. So there you go, honorable mention. Also, Friday, as it is now shooting this, we've just got up on site, brand new Warrior Bar flavor. This is key lime pie. Um, I know what you're thinking. Uh, I don't want a key lime pie. Uh, <laughs> or what is key lime pie? It is obviously a very North American flavor. It's a dessert that's bigger out there. Yeah, we have lime things over here, but the whole key lime pie is, um, yeah, it's, it's not so huge for us. But um, I would say don't write it off. It's worth a try. It's it's very refreshing. It's it's lemon is the main thing. Yeah, there's a kiwi note going on there, but it's it's like a an almost a lemon drizzle bar. It's oddly subtle and and, and elegant and kind of you know delicate for a, a, a product from a company called Warrior. But you get a load of protein in there. It's it's the usual thing with Warrior bars. Quite a big bar, 64 grams, 225 calories, 10 grams of fat, 18 grams of carb. Sugar's just two grams, 20 grams of protein. Yeah, whatever. I will probably open one of these and show you because it looks a bit mad inside and it's covered in little green balls and everything. But honestly, surprisingly nice. Don't think key lime pie and run away. This is actually worth a try. So I'll probably come back to this, but yeah, for now, it's run on enough. I don't need to do any more. Final one, I promise. Right, Chiefs, not Chiefs, got seven. So uh, these guys, we've had a restock as well. A load of the crisps back. I think we've got most except probably barbecue, which is a shame because the barbecue chips are very popular, but we'll get them back as soon as we can. Two new flavors though, we had to dash in order just to get these. Um, we've got cheese and onion, that's what it is, right? Yeah, cheese and onion <laughs> in the protein chips, and we've got sweet salty caramel. So I might cover these in more detail because we've actually got two new flavors of their really nice protein snack nachos. Uh, they'll be coming in hopefully next week, so look out for those. They come in roast onions, uh, which is it's probably not the, the most sexy name. I, I probably wouldn't have called the product roast onion, uh, like flavor, but um, yeah, probably very nice anyway. I mean, you, you, I mean, very, very bold flavor. And yeah, it, it, it's, it's one of those ones that might get you a few looks if you open them on the train, but uh, you know they're gonna be quite nice. Sort of monster munchy sort of thing, I guess. And uh, the other one, more exciting for uh, classic cheese. So they've got like a cheddar cheese flavor, I think. Uh, so that'll be more like your sort of um, cheese Dorito type flavor. So yeah, very cool. So that goes alongside the 
uh, paprika flavor we have already. They should all be in, the order's in, found it, I've asked the guys over in Germany to rush it. We should have those next week, and then I think probably I'll do a bigger roundup with these as well. Uh, but the macros on the chips here are the best. Uh, so it's a 50 gram bag, it's quite generous, you get quite a lot in here. That's 100 calories, uh, so 200 calories a bag, six grams of fat, blah, 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 20 grams of carbs, but you get a full, I say full, it's about 17, 18 grams of protein. So that's not bad for a bag of crisps. So we've got that for the two of them. Bunch of flavors on there now. Greek style is another favorite of mine. Very, very unusual. It's got like basil going on in there and stuff. Very nice. Um, is it basil? Is that what I'm thinking? No, I don't remember. Whatever. I'm not good on spices. But yeah, very distinctive. You, you'll like that one. The Greek, it's worth trying. Again, you might go for paprika instead. You might go for sour cream and onion. But the Greek is a sort of hidden gem. Um, and we've got everything else from them as well. So I'll, I'll cover it in more detail. I will say this sweet salty caramel is worth trying. It's not offensively sweet. It's not as overblown as you'd think. I was actually expecting sweeter. And it comes across to me almost like cornflakes. So slightly sweetened and with the crunch and there's a, there's a kind of popcorn vibe as well. Really surprisingly nice and probably uh, quite flexible. I, I mean, I'm always tempted to put them in a bowl with milk and see how it comes off, but I really do get kind of sweet, well, it's sugary, but it's low sugar, uh, cornflakes. So anyway, yeah, try them, worth it, very unusual, very cool. Don't get salted caramel crisp very often. That's it, I think. Um, we've had Jordan's Skinny Syrups reloaded. Uh, we've got as many flavors as we can do. This is maybe my last pass at these. If, if, if they don't go quickly and we don't get more, you know, I might discontinue them because you can get them in home sense and stuff as well. So it, we, we've kind of lost our angle on those and we just don't have any reliable suppliers. So they've become difficult, but we did just get a pallet in. We got a load of that. Uh, we have got, oh, what else is coming in? Has come in split foods, the handmade bars that I took you through, I think in the last video, the video before. Uh, people are loving them, it's great. Uh, and we got a reload and I think the Biscoff have gone already. I think we still have peanut caramel and we still have um, the chocolate, the, the hazelnut truffle one as well. So in the mix, yeah, folks are low, uh, um, enjoying those. So um, if you want to go and grab those before they sell out again, we're on a roughly two or three week schedule with reloads on these. So now's the time. Uh, what else? Um, I don't know, keep an eye on the just arrived section because we do have more things coming. The big launch is going to be the pink lemonade sour strips, which is going to be around about now when you see this, uh, but we've got like rock band smart shake shakers coming in. I didn't think we'd get a go at these, but there's like Slayer, there's Motorhead, um, loads of cool ones. There's, um, there's Metallica, there's Iron Maiden. Uh, so these would be quite good. Maybe Christmas gifts as well. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I've always loved that kind of iconic Motorhead logo. And um, this is like Motorhead England on it. Very cool. Uh, and this is in the Smart Shake Revive series. So it's, it's like a newer design. It's stronger. It's kind of rubberized. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, so that'll be in the mix there. Speaking of shakers, there's a new seasonal Goblin Blender bottle. We should have that soon enough. Um, bleh, I don't know. What else? Um, that's about it. I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there. I'm still trying to get PES restock. We're all out of the two pound tubs, but we'll have more in a couple of weeks. I'm still trying to get Quest restock. Sorry, the Quest stock's so terrible, but Quest are pulling out of Europe. So it, it well, they've pulled out of Europe. It, it's kind of difficult to get stock at all. We've got the dregs of kind of the regular bars and it's murder because of COVID and everything else, bringing over some of the American bits. We used to have like the hero bars and the chips and stuff. So all a bit erratic, very sorry we're working on it. We might get some Alani back, so watch out for news there. Like the pre-workouts back, BCOs. I didn't think we'd see them again. We might be getting them back. Um, that's it. I'll stop there. I won't drag on anymore because it's been nearly an hour. Um, thank you for watching, guys. As always, was a pretty big one. We got loads of cool stuff uh, over the last couple of weeks. Jump on the site. There's also a new notification system. You get one of those annoying prompts saying sign up to, to get like notified and alerts and things. So sorry about that. Personally, I do find them quite irritating, but we're doing a suck it and see type thing. I mean, we, we've got some new software on there doing um, kind of news feeds and alerts and stuff. And so much happens so regularly from restocks, new products and things like that. Um, I don't know, two events coming soon. Re you know, this is, yeah, this is, there's always stuff we want to tell you about and we're just looking for a quicker way to do it and that might be more convenient give it a try you just click allow it should go through pretty quickly and then every time you post something new or a restock or anything like that you'll get a little alert pop up on your phone pop up on your browser yeah who knows it, it, it might be just what you're looking for um so that is on site as well if if no one signs up for it and um yeah there's no uptake after a week or two i'll probably just can it because i'm aware these things can get really really irritating anyway that's on there um 
Oh, sorry, I'm just going to cut it off and escape home. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, next one will be in probably two weeks' time again, maybe around Halloween. It'll be a Halloween-themed one, and the only horrifying thing will hopefully be my hair. Uh, but uh, we will see. Hopefully the world will continue to turn and things won't get any more um, bleak and covid -y too bleak and covid over the next little while and obviously Christmas is coming up and Black Friday and there's enough to scare everyone. Um, <laughs> well, certainly Black Friday scares us because it's always mad. Um, yes, anyway, bye for now. Have a great, oh, I hope you had a great weekend, I suppose, by the time I get this up and I'll see you next time.